Are you riveted by the political news? This Absolutely. <laughs> I'm practically speechless. Ah, no, right. it was, it was, you know. Yeah, unexpected news. Yeah, I mean, yeah, at least it's interesting. Yeah, you know? as I said over there in uh, in the monologue, which we call it quiet time. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> last night was the New Hampshire primary, and uh, there was some pretty exciting results. Results people did not expect. The big news, of course, is John McCain's huge win over George W. Bush, which has really shaken up the Republican race. Meanwhile, Al Gore held off a very strong challenge from Bill Bradley to eke out a win in the Democratic race. We, of course, have been following this story very closely. And here now is another edition of our continuing campaign coverage, Decision 2000. <laughs> Whoopi's coming up from behind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Expect her to make some trouble. Sister Whoopi. Sister Whoopi, sorry. All right, let's, uh, let's talk first to the man who was the Republican frontrunner. He has got to be nervous now after losing to John McCain by 18% in New Hampshire. That's a wide margin. Please welcome, live via satellite, Texas Governor George W. Bush. Let's get him in here. <laughs> welcome there, uh... Welcome there, sir. Good to have you here. Yeah, well, thanks for having me, Cone Pal, and I mean that. I mean that. All right, uh, sir, mm -hmm. you thought you might lose last night, but the margin is probably a lot bigger than you expected. Yeah, it sure is, good buddy, and right now I'd like to concede to John McCain. Let him know that I'm totally conceited. He's the president <laughs> now, and I fully support the McCain administration and whatnot. He's going to need a vice president. I hope he'll consider me, and I mean that. Well, well, sir, you, you, you seem a little confused. You just lost the New Hampshire primary. You, so I still have a shot at Old Hampshire? Uh, sir, no, 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 sir. <laughs> Not exactly, but South Carolina, that's the next Republican primary. Sure, and you're, sure, sure. You're, you're way ahead down there. Right, right. South Carolina, that's a state, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's no, a no, state. I, I yeah. knew that. I knew that. South Carolina, the, the first state to succeed from the Union. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Boy, if I could win South Carolina, then head south to North Carolina, then it's on to West Carolina. Okay, all right, sir, let's... Let's move on. Let's let's talk about what happened in You'll New Hampshire. Butt. Now, it's a conservative state. Sure, you think, conservationist, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that you were hurt at all by character issues, maybe lingering questions about drug use? Uh, let me address the, 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 the caricature issues. I mean, whether, Conan, whether or not I did or did not use cocaine in the past, and, and whether I did or did not love using it and become a slave, <laughs> and whether or not I became a slave to the white lady is irrelevant. <laughs> Well, but, but, sir, sir, you lost by double digits. What, I mean, what, what, look at these results. What these that? results. Results? Let me come a little closer. There. You want to see these take closer? These results, results are pretty... Uh, yeah, these are scary results, that? and they're What's actually that? very... Oh, what the hell are you... <laughs> Can I do that? I don't see any results. I don't God. know what you're talking about. Results, buddy. Yeah, well, good for you. Sorry, but that, pal. You can snore all you want. That we'll is not going to make... Take a on those results. That is not going to make... That's not going to make John McCain go away. Right. Now, what's, what's your plan to deal with him right now? Well, here's the thing, my bud, my pal. I didn't want to make this an issue in the campaign, but you go back to the 60s, that was a troubled time in this country. And I stayed here and I defended it. Not like John McCain, who ran away from the problems here and hightailed it to Southeast Asia. <laughs> well, sir, Senator McCain fought in Vietnam and he was a POW. POW, I can spell. Yeah. Hey, listen. I know he fought in Vietnam, but hey, I remember that show, MASH. That looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> Hot Lips, Hula Han, and Alan Alda making their own booze. That was fun. Okay, look. <laughs> sir, that was that fun. Was, sir, that was a TV comedy set in the Korean War. Senator McCain spent eight years in a POW camp in Vietnam right, as a hero. All right, all right, all right. Ball four. <laughs> Here brings me to a point about Senator McCain, my friend. Okay. Senator McCain's temper, it hasn't really been made an issue yet, and I haven't wanted to. <laughs> yeah, well, those, you got a point there. Those who know him say that Senator McCain has a bit oh, of a, they, a bad temper. Yeah, he's got a temper, all right. Here, I, I didn't want to make an issue, but just ask one of these prison guard fellows who guarded McCain. Ho, Duck Pron, get in here, baby. He'll tell you. How's it going? 
Tell him about McCain's temper. Tell him. Oh, yeah, McCain. He got a bad temper. See that? Yeah, you know, we come in, we lock him in a tiger cage, and he get all cranky. See? He got cranky, Daddy. He got cranky, huh? Yeah, he's totally unpredictable. I mean, uh -oh. one day, I try to force him to give up state secrets, say America, evil place, and he frown and say mean things to me. Oh. So, so he's moody, Pran. He's oh, moody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's moody like a girl. I think the, I think the M and PMS stands for McCain. Oh, for yeah, God. That's say. a good one. Yeah. That's a good one, sir. I would never guard him again. I would guard George W. Bush. Hey, anytime, old pal. Okay. Anytime. Okay. See you later. Give him a hand. That is ridiculous. That's here for Pran. That is beneath contempt. That's here for Pran. That's ridiculous. That's here for Pran. That's a great American there. Oh, sir, that's ridiculous. This. That kind of attack on Senator McCain is not going to work. No, it's not, Cole. Hey, look at what, Senator McCain, what, everybody. Let's yeah. give him a yeah. make him feel welcome. Thank you very much. Now, now listen, Cody, the people of New Hampshire have sent a message that they want a leader with real What's character that? and What's integrity. What's that? Can't hear you. Can't hear <laughs> Senator who? I cannot Senator. believe you did that. Something about an opponent? I'm all sorry. All right, listen, thanks a lot. Good luck in South Carolina. I don't got an opponent. I'm yeah, all right. <laughs> Ridiculous. Let's take a second now, folks, and uh, let's talk to the Democrats. First up, the man who finished a strong second last night in New Hampshire. Let's get him in here. Senator Bill Bradley. Let's talk to the man. Hello, Conan. Hello there, Senator. Hello, Conan. <laughs> it's a thrill to be here. Hello, Great. Well, sir, you, uh, you, you stepped up your attacks on the vice president recently, and that worked for you. You, you made big gains by, by attacking. Well, yes, Conan. I want negative, and it helps me. You can expect more of that. Oh, okay. So, so you're going to continue negative attacks on Al Gore? Not just Gore, you no-talent Mick. <laughs> what? That's right, hockey puck. I gotta make up for lost time with the negativity. Gore's a lisping robot butt pirate. Hey, wait a minute, slow down, you can't say that. Shut up, string bean. Max, rim shot. <laughs> and that goes double for that white trash douchebag sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk to Andy like about that. Hey, it's Vice President you Al Gore, everybody. Give him a hand. You mix it up with me. <laughs> Don't hurt Andy. If you want to mix it up with me, that's one thing. I'm in. <laughs> All right, I'll tumble well. for you, Bradley. You want to mess with me, I'll kiss your ass. <laughs> Sir, it's... It's kick your ass. You bet, Conan. I am so excited about last night's stunning victory in New Hampshire. This Tennessee Titan made it into the end zone. Yeah, you did. That was just nice. Isn't yeah. this exciting? I think I have proven that by talking louder, I've become a much more exciting candidate. <laughs> because I'm louder and Conan, I seem a little disturbed. So, so you think that's, that's working for you? I appear disturbed, a little unbalanced, and people are responding. <laughs> their eyes glaze over, they're weirded out. This is the new Al Gore. I have become both boring and frightening. Well, that's very good for you, sir. Anyway, it's a nice combo. So, Senator Bradley says he'd like to debate you once a week. What do you say? Let's get it on, you tree-hugging fairy. <laughs> Up yours, pelican chin. Please, Conan, gentlemen. I've already offered to debate twice a week. I'd like to expand on that. Let's make it seven times a week, 24 hours a day. Wait, 24-hour debates, no breaks? That's right. We'll get specially built toilets that face each other so we can poop and debate Debate and poop. Recycle this, you backwood booty burglar. Hey, hey, I'll bust the cap in your ass, white boy. All right. Go all right, just a tree robot queer. Okay. Okay, all right, just settle I, down. I, 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 I will rip off your head and pee down your neck, and it'll come out the other end, and people will think it's your pee. <laughs>
Sorry! <laughs> well, I think we should take a break. What do you say? Yeah. That was bound to happen sooner or later. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, we'll take a little break. When we come back, David Arquette's here. He's in Scream 3. <laughs>